Hey, this is Jeff from Jeff Race to the Top. I am back in the woods. I gotta get this Honda off the trailer, get the BMW on there, and get it ready for the next race at Grandview. Uh, what can I say, right? Uh, at least I didn't hit anything. I just, uh, I guess one of the bolts for the, the, the uh, right rear upper control arm came loose. Either that or broke off. As you can see, the hole is elongated so i don't know if it came loose during racing or if it was from the race before either way now that's one more thing to check before every race for the honda anyway make sure all the bolts are tight uh, replacing the trailing arm and whatever else is broken and bent trying to replace them with a uh, longer or bigger bolts one or the other so i can get a, either a lock nut or a heavier bolt on there so that this doesn't happen in the future but it is what it is let's get this thing off there So just got done taking that right rear trailing arm, lower control arm assembly off, all the bent stuff. So I have a rear disc conversion on it uh, from like, a, I wanna say it's a 2000 Civic Si. I could be a little wrong. I'm not sure where it comes from. The Integra, they're all pretty much the same about that same year. Found out that you don't really need the entire trailing arm. You just need the, the parts that mount up to the uh, caliper, all that stuff that just mounts up to the trailing arm. That comes apart. Um, it's, it's rusted pretty good, so I'm, I'm hoping that it comes off really easy. Now, of course, they use Torx bit holding it down, but hey, it shouldn't be too bad. Um, I got a new bearing for it. The caliper, all that stuff is already new. So that's all I gotta do is just swap it over and put it on.
the Honda is off the trailer. I had to go to the hardware store uh, to get one bolt. Uh, let's see, I grabbed some bolts earlier, but they were the wrong thread pitch. I am going to change them to bigger bolts, but that's later on. I just needed to get that off the trailer for now to get the uh, BMW on there so I can make it to this uh, upcoming race. So what the, the goal is with the BMW, see how that clutch feels, uh, see everything that, that's okay with that one. Uh, the also, I changed the right side rear outer tire uh, to a slightly smaller one, see how that feels instead of just being too much stagger. So I don't want to make too much changes and be lost in the sauce, but it should be all right. I also replaced the uh, intake boot that was torn. So I should have some theoretically back to the, the power it should have. I don't know if I felt any loss up there, but it did stumble on takeoff or when it was idling. I noticed that. And, uh, and also, if you saw the last video, I had a blast out there, even though we waited until the very last minute to even get out to the track. The, what, the two or three few times that I ran around the circle, I still enjoyed it. Like I said, at the end of the day, I'm just out there having fun until I want to take it a little bit more serious. I, I got to get more. I want to know, it's hard to explain. I want to get more experience under my belt before I can say, hey, I'm going to go out there to win. Because right now, I, I have no idea what I'm doing. I, I don't know if I ever will, but I want to get to a point where I can comfortably say, I think I can keep up. I think I can do this or I need to do this and, and, and go from there, you know. So I want to, again, try and do more races. So we'll see what happens. So going from front wheel drive to rear wheel drive, it, it's eh, eh, it is what it is. But anyway, if you've watched this video to the end, a like, share, and a subscribe will do me greatly, and I'll see you at the racetrack.